You have been very patient. Your Excellency, the Deputy Prime Minister, thank you so much for your leadership. It's very important to see at the helm of affairs you have someone fighting for women's rights. Your Excellency, the Governor of Port Moresby, thank you for your voice. It was very loud. Even the microphone went dead, but it was right. It was loud. My colleague, the Ambassador of the European Union, and we want to thank you. It has never been in the history of international development that we had so much resources for an issue of gender-based violence. And we want to applaud and congratulate the European Union for having that vision. Thank you. My international colleagues that are here, ladies and gentlemen, especially the women and the youth, Good morning, and let me just say on a Sunday morning here, it is Happy Women's Day, but it is also a holy day. So may God in his mercy bless and keep you all. It is my pleasure to be here in PNG on an International Women's Day to launch the Spotlight Initiative. Alongside Excellencies, the Deputy Prime Minister, Excellency, the Governor, and of course, my colleague, the Ambassador of the European Union to Papua New Guinea. I would also like to acknowledge that we are sitting in a place where you practice your trade, but in a place that was co-financed by the government of New Zealand, who is also headed up by an extraordinary woman, a woman in power. Sadly, around the world today, and Papua New Guinea is not alone, Okay, can you hear me? Yes. I think we have to start praying. Sadly, around the world there is an epidemic of violence against women, and we have heard today of that violence that is in this country. Today, we say one in three women will be affected by violence at some point in their lives. But that means that one in three men raises his hand against a woman. In some countries, including Papua New Guinea, we know that the figure is much higher. And we must put an end to violence of all kinds against women. What I want to say to the women of Papua New Guinea, you are not alone. I too am a survivor, and you are survivors, and we will succeed in ending violence against women. It is important for us to tell men, those men that haven't realized it yet, it is not a strength to raise your hand against a woman. It is a weakness. It makes you a weaker man for not being able to use your voice instead of your hand. So enough is enough, and we must bring an end to violence against women. The violence we know is strongly linked with discrimination and inequality that prevents women from reaching their potential. The potential that every man thinks they have as a right is a right for women as well. We have centuries of patriarchy and male domination and they have left a legacy of inequality, but times are changing. Today, the world comes to Papua New Guinea because we believe that the time has come for you to join the rest of the world in leading against having a more peaceful society with equal equality and rights for women. We cannot talk about peace if half of our community is living in fear and insecurity. There is a straight line between violence against women and girls, civic oppression and conflict. If violence is accepted as a solution in the domestic home, it becomes acceptable everywhere. Violence against women poses a great threat to sustainable and inclusive development. And that is a building block for building a stable and a peaceful society. If there is no peace in the home, there can be no peace in the community, there can be no peace in the country. So if this country is to succeed, it must start from the home. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is why the European Union and the United Nations launched the Spotlight Initiative, a partnership that supports governments and communities civil society organizations, to change mindsets, to bring in laws that will protect and prevent violence against women, 
and we intend to do this by 2030. For those who suffer from violence, especially our women and girls, I know 2030 is a long way away. But anyone can end that violence starting with you, the men, today. You don't have to wait till 2030 for violence against women to end. Here in Papua New Guinea, the Spotlight Initiative will build on the strong work that is already led by government. Together with the UN, the European Union, especially civil society and our partners, we will focus on investing in 11 provinces in all the four regions of the country. Everyone in the country is expected to benefit from the Spotlight Initiative. We will leave no woman or girl behind. I would like to commend the government and leadership of Papua New Guinea in taking on the issue of violence against women at the cabinet level in the parliament. The governor demonstrated his voice today and I encourage all of you to build on these efforts so that we may ensure that the laws come into place that will protect our women from violence. Cultural change is difficult and it is slow. If we are to change the attitudes that suggest violence and harm are acceptable, we need everyone to play a role. Individually and collectively, we must be the agents of change. The men must talk to the men, and the women must talk to the men, and the young women and young men must shape the future together without violence, leaving the history as past. We will support the legislative work we will work with all partners. We have already seen one solution in the bus that I rode in today with many proud women. And we want to ensure that every woman lives with dignity. This provides safe and reliable transport for thousands of women and children in Port Moresby. And we hope that we can scale this up. But the real success would be that women and men can travel in buses together, respecting one another that a woman can go into a bus where there are men she is not harassed sexually. And so as we say this is not just the responsibility of women, men must be allies in this campaign. Men who are committed to ending violence as we heard the governor this morning. We also need to see this in parliament, in civil society, in the private sector. Only by working together can we achieve our peaceful and stable societies. Spotlight will shine a light on every dark corner so that when we bring out the women who can stand in dignity and who will know that their future is secure from violence. I hope that Papua New Guinea can become a model for the global transformation we need to improve safety of women for girls. I wish you every success in this initiative and I leave you with this. For all of us, we know that it is true, whatever our faith, that all are equal in the eyes of God. I thank you.